So I'm going to spend some time today talking about power and the relationship of power to the production of uh, knowledge. Uh, more specifically, I want to look at the ways in which academe and the academic production of knowledge is a public relations tool for the dominant power structures, for the power elite um, in consolidating their power and uh, in further circulating uh, the power. In my book, Voices of Resistance, as well as in the earlier book, Communicating Social Change, I suggested the importance of looking specifically at uh, the production of knowledge itself. Um, this is not an argument that I'm the first one to make. I think this argument has been um, consistently made uh, by social critiques, um, starting from Baudelaire to uh, Foucault, uh, pointing out the need for uh, essentially uh, questioning uh, the politics within knowledge is constituted. For us uh, studying communication particularly, uh, the link between knowledge and power and the circulation of power is particularly important because we are positioned uh, in this vital place where we can look at meaning and how meaning happens to circulate uh, among the power elite and in that context then how uh, the sites of knowledge production are themselves uh, complicit uh, with the agendas of dominant structures in producing particular kinds of meanings and in circulating these meanings within um, the uh, mainstream narratives. So if you uh, were to really look at um, the kinds of pronouncements that uh, economists make, but even beyond that, if you were to look at uh, the kinds of projects that we as uh, communication scientists or communication scholars uh, work on, um, you realize fairly quickly that uh, the positions from which we work are positions that are uh, supported by the power elite. And in that sense, then, uh, these positions are intrinsically tied to the political economy of knowledge itself. So the production of knowledge is in and of itself uh, built into a particular kind of politics that um, uh, renders invisible the voices of the poor, uh, the voices of the margins, and at the same time draws its power from erasing uh, the complicity of academic knowledge and its agendas um, with uh, the power elite. So in some ways then knowledge becomes a marker, a public relations marker in many ways uh, that uh, can make pronouncements that fulfill the agendas of the power elite and yet do so from a fairly uh, apparently neutral position, seeming to be objective, uh, seeming to be universal, seeming to be unbiased. And yet interrogating this closely reveals that um, these positions of knowledge in and of themselves are connected to particular uh, kinds of politics, particular kinds of political agendas and in that sense, therefore, are very much tied to uh, the agendas of the power elite uh, that constitute uh, the broader domains and boundaries of knowledge, uh, determining what kinds of knowledge would uh, be circulated, would be acceptable, and also determining then what kinds of knowledge would be unacceptable. Thank you.